Hitbash 3D just released a new software called Cargo, a plugin that connects to Unreal and any other 3D software that can connect the models from Kitbash to any application just with a click of a button. You will be able to import your models and materials and browse through an entire library of different assets. So in this video, I will show you how to download Cargo, how to install it, how to get the plugin, how to connect it with Unreal, how to use it so you can just create any kind of world inside Unreal using Cargo. To start using Cargo, you just need to go to kitbash3d.com and just in the main website, you can just see a button that says download Cargo. Let's click on it and it will download the installer. Now that the download is finished, you will see a zip file. So you will just right click, struck here, and you will struck the wizard. Double click on this. You will get a prompt to allow this app to use in your computer. There you go. Just choose the path where you want to save cargo and click install. It is that easy. It will just take a few seconds to install. And there you go. Finish and you're good to go. So once Cargo is installed, you just need to log in with your email and password. And if you haven't already, you can just go to the sign up here, go to email, put your password, and then you will be good to go. Uh, in my case, uh, you thought I was gonna show you my email, but it was me here. Jokes aside, just put your email and password and you will be good to go. Once you open Cargo, you will have a window like this. So you need to set up the software. As soon as you click on this, first you need to select the software you want. In my case, I want to set it to Unreal. The version will be the 5.1 and click Next. And then you need to select a project. So when you create a project, if I go to Unreal, you will see here that I have my projects here. So where can I find this? I can just right click and show in folder. And you will see here a folder with the Unreal Projects directory. You need to open this Unreal project file. So in my case, I will just create a new project and continue. So I have opened up Unreal and I will choose the games and then the third person and i will call this my test project just create and in some minutes you should be good to go now that i have my project here called my test project i will just go to cargo click here go to unreal projects go to my test projects and just double click on this and as soon as you do that you can click on continue So it will install the plugin. Please wait while we download the necessary files and complete the plugin setup. And in my case, I will just close Unreal just in case. I will just go here and close it. And I will come back when this is finished. So now that it's finished, we just need to open Unreal Engine, our project. And we can go to Window and click on Cargo. And as soon as you do that, you will see that Cargo is now some colors here if you want to make sure you have the plugin enabled just type in plugins cargo and you will be able to see it here so once you have this you just click next and then click the import button below to open a sample in the unreal test map import and we will check unreal now when the import is finished you will be able to see this asset in unreal this is a cargo asset and it's a blueprint that contains several meshes inside of this. If you want to look deeper into this, you can just press control space to open the counter drawer, go for cargo, and you will see here that you have the actors. All the actors that you import from cargo will be here. The geometry will be the individual static meshes. For example, like this statue here, I can just drag and drop this one. The materials that contain the actor you import and the textures. So now let's go for cargo and see if we can import something. Let's just close here and you will be able to see this window. 
Here in the kits section, you will be able to browse through different kits available from Kitbash 3D. They are very different from each other, like Colonial, Valhalla, Outpost, Cyberpunk, Mission to Minerva, which we took a look in our channel before, and Medieval Siege. You have so many choices here. So I will just grab one of these just to show you how easy it is to import an object. So I can just find any one of those, for example, this one, and you will be able to see the size of this. If you want a 2K or 4K texture, can you, I can just go for the 2K PNG should be fine. And I can just click download. And when it's downloading, uh, it will take a while, so I will pause the video here and I will show you when it's finished. Uh, once it's finished, you will see that you have the import button. So you just need to click here and you will be good to go. And once you click import, you will see that inside Unreal, you will have the import actors and the importing materials window where you can see it's loading all the assets. Once the import process is finished, you will be able to see your asset. Now you will be able to see the blueprint here, which contain all the static meshes together. But if you want to browse through individual objects, you can press Ctrl B to open the actor. And inside of geometry, you will be able to select individual actors you may want to use. If you don't want to use the whole thing, for example, I could put something like this here. Or I could put some barrels, just like that. I can just make some adjustments if I want. Now, you don't only get the static meshes, you also get the materials and the textures. So for example, if I want to choose one material here and I want to apply to this cube, I can just grab one of this and there you go. Now my material, it's applied. So this is basically how you import objects into a rail from cargo, super easy. Now, keep in mind that you not only have the option to import the actors, you can just import individual materials, like for example, this castle wall, if you like it, you can just download it and just do the same process, uh, import, and you should be good to go. I already have it, so I don't need to show you again, but you can also browse through materials and you can do the same through different kits like the Hong Kong and, if there is some material you like, you can just grab it. You don't need to download the entire asset and to grab the material. You can just go here, grab some stencils, use it in your projects, and you will be good to go. There are thousands of assets here. So the amount of models and the amount of materials you can get is just insane. The Kitbash 3D library is super big. So they have added a lot of search options for you to make your life easier. So if you go to models here, you will be able to filter the models by gender, the kits, the object size, and the axis if it's free or on or already download. So for example, I can go for fantasy and I can browse all the fantasy assets that are available. And as I continue to scroll, they will uh, more assets will be shown. I can also filter by kits if I want. And a really cool feature I like is the object size. For example, from one to five meters. It's like I, if I want to find props, like I can really do it very easily. Or if I want to find something very, very small, let's go here. Sweet again. There you go. Now, this is super small assets. And if you want something big, you can go for something massive like this, like a big building or something like that. Another thing you can do is go to the object type. So for example, you can put furniture or buildings. So for example, if I put destruction, now I go here, you will see that you have, maybe you want to find some rubble. Okay, uh, some destroyed objects, or maybe you can have some furniture, or maybe you want some nature elements. So. I go here and you will be able to see some trees and things like that. So it's very easy just to import any kind of object. For example, like this one, I can just go for the 
1K if you want something really low quality or something like this, just download. And this asset should take should be pretty fast to download and, and try it out. So I can click import on this one. And I will go to Unreal. And a new window will appear. It's importing the meshes, importing the materials, and then it will import the textures also. There you go. Now we have our kit. And the cool thing about this is that they already lay down the kit for you. So you can you can just use it anywhere. And if you want to to do some changes here, you can just open the blueprint here, open blueprint editor. And you will see that you have all the actors here. So you can just move things around if you want, or maybe you don't want the tree. You can, or maybe you want to move it like this. If you compile, the tree will be on the, on the right. So you have a, a lot of power here. And if, if you want to find individual pieces, you can just go to geometry and you will see all the geometry that is available for you for all the kits that you have downloaded. Now to access the entire library, you have a few options. The Cargo Basic is, of course, uh, free. But the important thing about this is that if you have purchased any Kit Bash 3D asset before, you will have it already here. For example, you bought Mission to Minerva, then you don't need to buy it again. You will just have it in your account. But if you have not but any Kit Bash 3D asset before, you can just go for a subscription plan for 65 bucks a month, and you can have the entire library for you. You can just browse through the kits and you can just see how many they have. It's so many, I can't imagine what you can create with this combined with Quicksell and Unreal. It's, it's just too good. And it's super easy to use. So I highly encourage you to, to go on and try it out. Uh, it can be very fun to use. And of course, if you want to learn more, we will have more tutorials about cargo in the future, how to create an environment, how to show you how to use this so you can just create your own worlds.